The second question from the 8-3 notes is another calculator active AP style question. Um, the rate at which rainwater flows into a drain pipe is modeled by the function r, where r of t equals 20 sine t squared over 35. So the first thing I would recommend that you do before you even read any farther is go to your home screen, start a new document, and open a graphing screen. And on your graphing screen, save r as y1 of x equals 20 times sine of x squared over 35. And then there's another equation that's coming up. Um, so we're saving that. t is measured in hours, and t is from 0 to 8. So while you're on your graphing screen, you can hit Menu, Window Zoom, and you can set your x min to 0 and your x max to 8. And you can guess about your y min and max. Um, I mean, the rate could be negative. So I don't know. I would go, oops, I wrote, I said 8, but I wrote a 0. Um, your y min, maybe do negative 10 to 50 or something. That's just a guess. And if you're wrong, it's OK. You can change your window later. Um, and then the pipe is partially blocked, allowing water to drain out the other end of the pipe at a rate modeled by, and we're going to save that function right away too. So that function is going to be negative 0.04x cubed plus 0.4x squared plus 0 0.96 x. And I've been saying the wrong thing. These, these functions are automatically saved on the Inspire, not as y1 and y2, but as f1 and f2. But I hope you figured that out. Okay. Um, to graph a second one in between, you might have to hit the tab button to get to your equation editor, but I hope you've experienced that before. Okay. Um, there are 30 feet of water in the pipe at time zero. I'm going to go ahead and write that down as a piece of information in function notation. So the amount at zero is 30. That's going to be something that I might need later if I have to write an accumulation function. All right. So part A says, how many cubic feet of rainwater flow into the pipe during the eight hour time interval? I don't care about the initial amount. I don't care about the draining amount. I only care about the amount flowing into the pipe. So I'm going to go from 0 to 8 of the R equation. So I'm going to use, I guess on this calculator, it's called F1. And remember, to get to that F1 equation, well, first of all, you have to be on a calculator screen, not on a graphing screen. So you can hit Control Add Page, and you can add a calculator screen. And then you can type Menu Calculus to get to the um, definite integral. And then once you're on the definite integral, you can choose to do um, VARs. You can choose the var button so that you can type this F1 easily on your calculator. A little secret on this calculator, you can actually also type F right next to a 1 um, and not go to the var menu. But the var menu is so easy on this calculator. So I do that, and I get that the amount of water flowing into the pipe is 76.570. And that is in cubic feet. Um, for part B, it says, is the amount of water in the pipe increasing or decreasing at time three? So for this problem, I would like to know, is the derivative of the amount positive or negative? If I have to justify, um, increasing or decreasing, I need to be talking about the derivative. 
I was not given an equation for the amount, so I have to make one using an accumulation function. I'm going to make the amount equation. The amount equation is going to be the amount will be the definite integral from 0 to x of the rate flowing into the pipe minus the rate flowing out of the pipe plus the initial amount, which was 30. This is my accumulation function, and now I can use that to talk about increasing or decreasing. This is the function. If I want to talk about increasing, decreasing, I'm going to take a derivative of that function. Oh, the derivative of an integral, we're back where we started. And then the derivative of 30 is also 0. So I just need to plug 3 into that equation. Again, that equation is stored on my calculator. I can go to a calculator window and not a graphing window. I can go to a calculator window and I can type uh, f1 of 3 minus f2 of 3. And it will spit out the number for me. And I can write that down, 0 0.3136 or 4. And since that, and so now if I have to reason for my answer, I can say the amount is decreasing. And the reason is a prime of 3 is less than 0. OK, part C. At what time from 0 to 8? Notice how it's including the endpoints. Is the amount of water in the pipe at a minimum? The easiest way to justify a minimum is to show on a closed interval is to show the candidates test. So the way so remember we're going to use this amount equation. The amount equation is the integral. So we're going to find out critical points and we're going to find out endpoints for this amount equation. Critical points are going to be when the amount equate the derivative is zero or undefined, but that doesn't happen for this particular one. So I set that equal to zero, and because I know the derivative function, that's going to be when the r of x equation is equal to the d of x equation. Well, those should both be graphed on the same screen. So in order to see that on your graph, you're going to go to that screen. So you're going to get yourself over to that screen. You can hit Control and this button until you hit that screen. Or you can also track along your trackpad until your mouse is up on that screen. And then you can click and open it up that way. Um, those two graphs intersect. And that's where they're equal to 0. Um, it, and when you do that, to see where they intersect, you can hit um, Menu, Analyze Graph, Intersect, and then it says um, left bound, right bound, and you can either type a number or you can move your trackpad dotted line to the left of where they cross and then to the right of where they cross. So when it says left bound, you could type a 3 since it looks like they cross between 3 and 4. And when it says right bound, you could type a 4, and it will tell you where they cross in between those two numbers. So you say, well, there's a critical point at x equals 3.272, and that is a critical number. And then you're also going to want to check the endpoints, because this is a calculator active question. And, well, sorry, because this is a closed interval. And so you're going to do the candidates test. You can make a little mini table to make do the candidates test. You can do t, or x, I guess, is what we've been calling it. So we can do x and a of x. Remember that your calculator can do definite integrals. So when you type, when you check the endpoint 0, well, that's going to be the definite integral from 0 to 0. So that's just going to be 30 because it'd be 0 plus 30. 
Um, and then you're going to also check 3.272. On a calculator window, you can hit Menu Calculus. You can type z the integral from 0 to 2, I mean 0 to 3272 of f1 of x t minus f1 of t dt plus 30, you should get 27.965-ish. And then you should also check the amount at x equals 8. And when I do that same math, I get 48.544. And so my justification would be the um, at what time is it at a minimum would be this time because justification would be by the candidate's test. Make sure you do think about the endpoints. If you justify without the candidate's test, you should show that you are considering the endpoints. You can do endpoints with the first derivative test, but I think it's easier to use the candidate's test. All right. And then the last question says, the pipe can hold 50 cubic feet of water before overflowing. For t is greater than 8, water continues to flow into and out of the pipe at the given rates until the pipe begins to overflow. Write, but do not solve, an equation involving one or more integrals that gives the time w when the pipe will begin to overflow. So what we're going to do for that is we are going to um, clear some space here so we can do part d but that is necessary work for part C. Um, we're going to do the integral from 0 to W of the amount going out minus the amount going in plus 30, and then we're just going to say equals 50, and that's all we have to do. You don't have to do any solving of that. We just have to write an equation involving one or more integrals that gives the time when the pipe will begin to overflow. All right, have a lovely day.